So t today we had a question, which is, why does meningitis cause photophobia? And that's an actually a very interesting question. However, the first thing you need to know is, what is photophobia? So photo is light and phobia is fear. So it's not really the sensitivity to light. They just don't want to see the light. And this can be the result of a lot of different things. But the common unifying mechanism of all these photophobia is the trigeminal nerve. So the trigeminal nerve, the first division is called the ophthalmic division. And this trigeminal is taking the information from the eye, B1, to the thalamus. And amazingly, to the occipital cortex. So there's input from a trigeminal thalamic occipital pathway that is part of a larger neural network. And that means a whole bunch of other things, not just meningitis, can cause photophobia. So for example, patients who have migraine, they have headache, they might have an aura from the occipital, a spreading depression of lao. But these patients often are photophobic and have to go lie down in a dark room because that trigeminal thalamic occipital pathway is being activated. And the light itself can stimulate the pain in the thalamus and the occipital, causing the migraine to occur. So migraine is another example of this photophobia thing. If you have any disease in your eye, most prominently uveitis or a corneal epithelial defect, these are gonna cause photosensitivity because the trigeminal is carrying that pathway. And so both the nociceptive fibers as well as this pathway are gonna be activated at the same time. So if you have a corneal abrasion, you're probably not gonna to wanna to have light shining in your eye. And that's why in some patients who have inflammation in the front of the eye, we give a dilating drop to hold their iris still so it doesn't keep opening and closing, uh, like atropine. And so we might atropinize people just to keep their iris from moving, not only to reduce the inflammation, but also to reduce the photophobia that is occurring with them. So now that you know that that's the case, anything in the meninges can cause the photophobia, not just meningitis, but anything. So if you have a subarachnoid hemorrhage, and the worst setting of your life, these people often have photophobia, even though there's nothing wrong with their eye. And so the meninges and the subarachnoid hemorrhage inflammation in the head, also innervated by the trigeminal. So the unifying mechanism for your question is trigeminal, a trigeminal thalamic occipital pathway unifying photophobia in meningitis and uveitis in corneal disease, in migraine, in subarachnoid hemorrhage, a unifying pathway, a final common pathway that leads to the subjective symptom of photophobia.